Let's talk about the stall to press to handstand. So a stall to press is a straddle L sit on the floor and then you press up to handstand and then back down again. Uh, it's very common goal for people when they get into hand balancing or calisthenics or uh, body weight strength uh, is be able to go from that floor position up into the handstand. Um, so today I'm just gonna break down what I think is some of the main uh, drills that I personally use to coach the movement um, and then I used myself as well when I was learning it. This is where I started from. So this is a video of me and Maddie. Um, this is some years ago. Um, I'll try and work out how many years ago it was. Um, yeah, so this is us trying, or my attempt of a straddle press to handstand. Maddie was doing gymnastics at the time, and obviously that's part of their skill set that they learn. Prerequisites before you start working the stall to press is obviously a press to handstand and then being able to hold the straddle else sit on the floor. You can start working on some of these other drills, but ideally you'd have those two things already. So it's a press to handstand from the floor uh, and a straddle else sit. Uh, whenever I work any skill or when I teach any skill, I break it down. So I reverse engineer the movement uh, and break it into its components and then build each component separately and then put it back together. So for the straddle, uh, straddle the for the stall to press is no different so we will be working eccentrics so negative movements so from the handstand back to down to the straddle else sit some people for this um, drill will need to raise their hands up so they can get their feet through without touching the floor is partial range so partial range um, it's from a handstand you come down kick over the yoga blocks or, or have a target that you touch and then go back up and then progressively move the target further and further away. So that would be a partial range um, stall to press. And then the third drill that I would work on um, is the straddle L sit hold itself. So get very strong in that bottom position because that's the position that you're going to have to change direction on. Um, you should have the mobility and flexibility to um, at least sit in a straddle pancake on the floor uh, comfortably and you should have have the ability to hold the straddle L. So if you can't hold the straddle L on the floor, if you don't have the flexibility to sit in a straddle, and if you don't have a press to handstand yet, I'd work on those things first before working towards the um, stall to press. Mm -hmm. Then once you have those, eccentrics, so lowering down, uh, partial range, going down a little bit, coming back up, and slowly making that deeper and deeper. Okay, beautiful. Um, and then just strengthening that uh, straddle L, straddle L position at the bottom. Now there's loads of other accessory work and you'll see coaches suggesting different things um, and they're all good. Uh, they're just, these are just the main things that I work with and the ones I use the most. I'd also recommend that you work towards like a tuck press off the floor. So to have a uh, tuck planche and be able to press up and down out of that would help massively for the um, the stall to press. Now, if you have a full tuck press off the floor, so like kneeling on your shins and be able to push up into the a handstand, um, you should be able to do a stall to press. They're basically the same thing. Obviously the flexibility demand on the hips is a little bit different, but the movement, uh, the press range, the, the range the hips have to go is, is the same thing. Yeah, so baby don't lose control I focus
lost on you, baby. Lately, you been in my aim. I've been reaching out for you and still that's so far away. Looking through the smoke in the mirror.